there's a lot of themes that run through my practice. The ones that I guess are most prominent and recurring are ideas to do with um, dominant ideologies and power structures and how these act to inform our um, view on reality and morality. So the exhibition came about through quite a long relationship that I've had with Castlefield Gallery, taking part in a couple of group shows and then a couple of events and that led to conversations around how Castlefield could help me to develop my practice. So things that I wanted to do with it, which was more uh, installation based, uh, more performance based and things on a, a larger scale. These conversations I was having with Castlefield developed quite organically to the point that we're in now. And part of that journey was um, meeting IMT Gallery. So these conversations between IMT and Castlefield um, married up and that led to this idea of a joint presentation. It's not the same work, but it's work that's all connected to each other, it exists within the same universe, it's the same characters. Um, and there's um, definite crossovers between the two spaces. Initially, what it's about, like going in, the uh, synopsis is um, the audience is transported to uh, the planet Dirt, so D-U-R-T, and it's set on this imagined world, universe, after a apocalyptic disaster called the quantum crash and this i guess like civilization the audience is transported into like their world and presented with information about what led to the crash and how these creatures are living post crash so that's like uh, on the surface what it's about but then i guess deeper into that is looking at how we absorb information and how we perceive reality. So things that are seen as set in stone or real uh, are often um, told to us in that way because it benefits the status quo or the dominant ideology of the time. So I guess it's like looking at that idea of like who authors the stories that we're told. And that mainly relates to the ceramics and the tufted pieces. So this idea that the tufted pieces almost have the look of tapestries. So this ancient world building technique of telling stories through textiles. And then the same with ceramics, that the ancient objects are found and then they're used to piece together our history uh, or a perceived history of what happened before us. There's a lot more I guess, uh, in stories and backstories to each of the characters and the way that I've um, hope that the exhibition will be taken is like in a, there's like a layered approach to it. If you wanted to explore the law behind, as in L-O-R-E, behind the, uh, the world or the universe that these characters exist in, there's like a comic book, there's a computer game that I've designed, made, and um, there's a series of films, so there's other inns that you can go to and explore that universe more thoroughly. This work is influenced by a critique of structures like capitalism, but I am very aware that I exist within a hyper-capitalist structure and I not only benefit from it, but like I engage in it. So hence the, the action figures, this idea of like, the merch, all of these things within the Cyberjunk universe for, for you to buy. I think one thing that I find is important to me with my practice is that I, like a lot of it is informed by socio-political narratives. One of the reasons that I make the work is for me to try and understand that sort of stuff that I'm reading or looking into. It's not necessarily for the audience to understand that. So ideally an audience coming in that has no idea of my practice, no idea of the work coming up to it, they might be able to get something from it as in whether that's just like 
color or texture or audio or what, whatever it is. But then if they wanted to delve deeper, hopefully there's enough information on show that gives an in to what is below that entry level of like visually what the work is, like what is then below that, that is the idea behind it. You get like a little glimpse into my mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>